everybody welcome back to hiking with Isaac um, a forward vlog um, today's hike I am currently in some woods in Broxbourne uh, which is just uh, off the Riverly walk uh, it's been pretty good walk so far um, I'm just trying to get some miles in um, because um, I have a goal I always have a goal uh, I know some people don't like to use the word goal, uh, some people prefer to use destination, purpose, whatever you want to use it, that's fine, uh, but I'm going to stick with goal because I like it. Anywho, uh, yeah, so I have a goal this year um, to walk 6,000 kilometers. Now, don't ask me why I want to walk, uh, you know, 6,000 kilometers, I just do. I mean, there is a reason, but maybe a story for another time um so i need to get out there especially have a, after not really walking much for two months uh, due to surgery and whatnot i need to kind of make up for the time lost anyway but during this walk i've been thinking a lot about the future goals uh that i want to achieve and i thought i'll uh, talk a little bit about why goals are so important to me and why maybe you guys want to start thinking about your hiking goals as well. So obviously you can have goals or purpose or destination uh, to look forward to, to work towards. And that could be anything from changing your job, um, buying your house, a car, going on holiday, whatever it might be. Everybody's got their own goals. But if you want to start hiking or if you already do hike, um, do you set yourself goals? I do, um, mostly because I like a challenge. And hiking, just for hiking, for me personally, just doesn't do it. I need to hike with a purpose. And obviously mental health is my main purpose, my main goal. My The health of my mental health is top priority and that's always going to be there. Um, but I like to, I'm a very competitive person. Now, I don't do team sports because not only am I competitive, but I can also be a little bit aggressive. Um, not so much now because I haven't played team sports in 10 years, maybe more. But I am very competitive myself. I always look for ways to improve and better myself. And hiking is a very easy way to do that for me because it's very measurable. Now, having a goal is fine, but it needs to be a smart goal. Um, I've been on way too many courses and even in school, we always talked about smart goals. So what is SMART? It's an acronym. It stands for specific, measurable, attainable, um, realistic and time-based so it's got to be a specific goal so like I said my hiking goal for this year is to walk 6,000 kilometers so that's a very specific number it doesn't get more specific than that um, I'm trying to it's measurable again it's you, you can measure it every day that I go hiking I've got the number of the distance that I've done, so I can measure that every single day. Uh, I am currently using an, a watch um, that allows me to measure that. Before I was using an app on my phone, but that kind of stopped working. Like this watch kind of stopped working, but it is what it is. Um, attainable. Is it attainable? Mm. It just very much depends. Uh, at this point, I don't know if 6,000 kilometers uh, is attainable, but I'm still be damn sure I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and get as close as I can. Maybe I should be a little bit more realistic. Um, you know, <laughs> which is the, the 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 fourth letter of smart. Realistic. Is it realistic for me to walk six thousand kilometers? Uh, it would have been if I didn't do anything. If I didn't stop for two months, but I had to stop for two months. It is what it is. Uh, but I still think it's realistic. I think it's, you know, attainable. Uh, so I'm just going to keep working on it and try to get as close to it as I possibly can. And time frame, I gave myself 12 months. So that's kind of my main goal for this year, to walk 6,000 miles, sorry, 6,000 kilometers. And I'd say it's pretty smart um, overall, but we'll see if we can or not achieve it. I don't think I would be able to do any more than that. But, you know, so that's my goal for this year. But I've been thinking a lot about goals and what I want to achieve in my life. And I came up with a new goal that I haven't really thought through about, you know, is it a smart goal? 
but I'm too impatient to even think about it. But I've got a week to decide if I want to do it or not. So I'm deciding. My next goal is to become a trail runner. So now, if you don't know what a trail runner is, it's somebody who... So it's basically a hiker who runs, basically. Uh, or um, a runner that runs across country, in the woods, in mountains, whatever you like to call it anywhere but on the road so now i'm not usually a runner sorry just walked into a cobweb um yeah i'm not usually a runner but i've had a, a few hiking sessions where i ended up running uh, for quite a bit of distance as well and it was so much fun i loved it it was great and um but i never really thought about becoming a trail runner because i'd much rather walk but I have uh, been looking at different challenges to do, uh, you know, uh, races and organized events. And uh, I found quite a few, um, both in the UK and abroad, that look really pleasing, but they're for runners. And I'm like, how can I get myself involved in that if I'm not a runner? So I thought, you know what, I'm going to start training as a runner. Um, and yeah, so that's my goal. I don't know how well that's going to go. It could be potentially dangerous for my knees and my ankles, but that's why I'm going to be training. And uh, that is my goal. So, do you have a goal? I would like to, to, to know if you guys want to share, if you have a goal, what goal is it? And uh, how realistic is it? And one thing that the SMART acronym doesn't have, which I would say for me personally is the most important thing, is a why. Why is it important? Well, it's not a why, but W. <laughs> But, you know, what was the reason for, for that goal? Why do you want to achieve it? And for me, like I said, my mental health, and I love challenging myself. I love hiking. I'm not bored of hiking by any means. But I, physically, I'm like, I've done hiking. I'll, you know, I can push myself, you know, with hiking. I know I can push myself. So I know I, know I need a new challenge, new goal, something to kind of get me on the edge of hating my life a little bit because I'm like why am I doing this to myself but I, I'm somebody who loves pain and I love a good challenge one of those challenges that you think is it achievable or not like you know it kind of makes you think twice about you know your life so I, that's kind of that's who I am I, I I don't like the easy way I just never did um, so that's my why for wanting to become a trail runner. I'm always gonna be a hiker at heart. I'm always gonna go on hikes for fun, for training, for mental health, for whatever, you know, make videos like this. But challenging myself in a new way, it's gonna be really interesting to see. Um, but yeah, um, do you have a smart goal? What is it and why do you wanna do it? Um, I'd love to hear them. Uh, leave it down in the comments below. It does not have to be about hiking, it could be about anything you want to, you know, anything you want to achieve. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my two cents on having goals, having a purpose, having a destination to work towards. And uh, I'm going to finish this hike now. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, for now, keep on walking. <laughs>